This is your drenching gun. Now, you would have weighed your animal before because you have your weight tape, which is very accurate. Once you have weighed your animal, you're going to proceed to deworming. Now, you're going to, you're going to have to look at your dewormers. Your, okay, so you're going to look at your oral dewormers. So this is Benvet. This is 2.5%. And it says right here for, for a goat, 2 milliliter per 10 kgs. Now, this goat right here is 20 kgs. This, this says 2 ml per 10 kgs. How many milliliters would you give this goat? 4 ml. So you would pull up your 4 ml, because it shows you right here. It has the um, calibration right here, so you can see 5, 10, 15, 20. So you estimate where 4 is. You pull that up, and then you'll do, proceed to doing your drenching. So remember that long section and curve, what we said it was for? What was it again? Yes, and, and, and so you want to get it behind the tongue, yes, so, so watch carefully how you're going to insert that, so you want to go at the corner. I, no, you can put your finger, I put my finger because he cannot bite you, So there's no, no teeth on the right. side, yeah? You're gonna to you don't want to put it at the front because sometimes they're going to try and chew on it and you don't want to damage teeth or damage anything, so always go at the corner. Everybody will get one in their kit, so... And always get it behind the tongue first, and then you push it out. Because you yes. want it behind the tongue. And then you squeeze out. Yes. And when you're finished, what are you going to be doing with this? You're going to? You can pull it down. So, Dr. Young is going to show you how you pull that down now. There's yes. an attachment for another piece that you can put here to put on syringes. Okay. Uh, needles. I'm sorry, needles. You'd also have your record books because record is so very important. Um, you'd have all your breeding dates inside here. When you put out the animals, which buck you use or um, whichever animal you have, sheep or goats. You'd write down all, um, all of that information so you'd know whether or not this animal is pregnant and how far along she is. you would all have a numbering system for, for the purpose of identification. And for example, if this animal is pregnant, you know that you might not be able to use Benvet or Levox. Um, at, at you know what, whatever um, stage of pregnancy and and um, you know and in that case you'd have to consider using a different type of anti um, dewormer and of course remember um, the animal may be pregnant but remember what you learned in your training this morning you do not have to always deworm your animals Dr Young talk about the formatcher charts and you know how you check that how did, how did she say you're supposed to check and when you check the membranes what are you looking for the color and if you see that the animal is looking very bright and pink what would you do you won't deworm all right so let's let's have a look at this one and and show you a little demonstration Pull and pop method. So you're gonna push down at the top island. No, no, no. So you push down on it and pull down oh, at the bottom, yes. and then you put the card next to it. See? So somebody tell me what color is it? A one, two, or three. Let me hold it down this way. Right? Push, pull, right? Is this a five? A one? No. Two. Three. Three. No. Three. Three. About a three. A three right? Yeah. And you're supposed to check on both sides. So let's turn our eye again. There could be a difference, yes. I can't see, sorry. Tell me. Tell me, ready? When you're ready. Three. Three, same way. Three, same way. So, so she's a what? Three. So she's a three. So would you deworm this animal? Yeah. So if she's a three with a question mark, yeah. what will you look at next? You can look at her body condition or you can look at her, her coat. She's looking very good. Coat is very smooth. She's in, she's in very good body condition. So would you deworm this animal? So you wouldn't waste your dewormers on this one. Yeah, so and, and before we get to marking, you know, well, let's let's talk about the marking because I was, I was gonna talk about a different product that we didn't touch on in the training today, which is um our minerals. Because sometimes you see the goats looking very rough and shabby and we all think it's worm, but not always worm, because the grass is out there sometimes at different time of the year. Um the the, the nutritional content of the grass and mineral content might be different. So sometimes you find that your goats are very deficient in mineral, but they're looking very shabby. We may not know that, and then we start deworming them, deworming them. And it's not a worm problem, it's just because they are deficient in certain minerals. So what we recommend at all times is that to, to, to get rid of that problem, that we keep them on a free choice mineral. 
We have it in one little container, um, hard lip meaning that we just leave it there. They'll eat it when they want it. So very, very important. We also promote marking. So for the purpose of um, records, if you dewormed some of your animals and you want to know which ones, you can actually mark them at, you know, and it, for, for different purposes. If you're doing deworming, if you bred animals, animals that you want to breed, those that, you know, for whatever reason, you can put different markings. Mark it and document for documentation. So we also have these uh, chalk sticks that you can uh, um, actually buy and, and use.